Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dipankar and this is the third lecture of integration procedure and the first lecture of FlexCAD and in this video we are going to see how we can use integration procedure as a data source for a FlexCAD, right? So to do that, let's go to our Omni Studio org and let's do the hands. -up. So I have uh, opened the integration procedure already in my Omni Studio org and if I come to preview here, I am getting some data over here but the important thing that we have to know is we are uh, passing two parameters to this integration procedure first one is account id and second one is call from flex card right and we were going to use this input parameters dynamically and we will be getting this data dynamically as well so let me go to the properties and the first thing we need to do if you want to use any integration procedure inside any flex card or omni script we have to activate the integration procedure, right? So let me click on activate version. So in the meantime, let me duplicate this tab. And now let's click on flex cards. And to create a new flex card, we have to click on this new button. And here we have to give it a name. So let's suppose we want to give it as name as display account contact details and change the author name to DS and the theme can be lightning or Newport that's fine and let's click on next and if you see the data source type there are a lot of options for us and we can choose integration procedure for this time and click on next and here we have to give the name of the integration procedure the name should be the type followed by underscore followed by subtype so if i come here it's demo transform account contact details so let me go to the previous tab in which the type was demo and the subtype is transform acc con details so that's the integration procedure name for us and the second thing it takes two input parameters over here as well right one is account id and second one is call from flex card so basically let me add the input parameters as well so the account id should be dynamically and and we are passing the account id as record id so what will happen whatever the record id will give to this flex card this record id will be passed as account id and the second parameter this will be hard coded and that should be called from flex card should be true so let me click on add again and let me click on call from flex card and make it as true right so these two parameters that's the integration procedure expects right and let's click on next so now here we will be able to test if we are getting the expected data or not so let me come over here and copy this account id as record id and let me give the call from flex card value also as true and try to face the data hopefully we will be able to see the data we are expecting so here if i click on this json tab over here it gives us all the data right so we are using this data to display inside the flex card so that's uh, it for the flex card configuration and let's click on save and we should hopefully wait for some time and it will launch the flex card designer for us so basically it has launched a flex card designer for us and the first thing if you see then lwc has been created already and if i go to setup you can see the same integration procedure i have configured over here is also coming right and if i click on save and fetch i am also seeing the same data over here as well the second thing that i want is there are a lot of fields that we want to display right let me show that again so let me click the click on execute over here in the integration procedure there is name shipping city country postal code street we should be hopefully able to display all these things right so let's go to build and if i click on this fields drop down by default there will be the nodes that are present as a string should be visible to us to add to the flex card right so let me click on fields you can see 
all these fields are visible so let me drag the name right let me i can also drag and drop to resize it as well and we can also add name followed by shipping street then followed by city followed by postal code and followed by country and we can drag the industry below the name right and we don't need the created by maybe maybe we can use it right so this is how we will use a flex cat right so and the second thing there is a property tab over here and if we go to style i will be also able to style this name as well right so let me drag to make it maximum width let's suppose i want to style it to be at the center of the screen right so what i'll do i'll make the text align as center right and if i want to give a padding i can give and click on add as well right maybe padding around it's small there you can see the padding right and maybe we don't need to add the margin maybe tell the font size to 30 px since this is the account name you can see and you can also make it responsive that's for another lecture i think this is all and um, just for the purpose of showing the data we can configure it let's let's uh, do these things uh, drag and drop to make this in two columns right so i'll make this to half right you can see we are able to see the account details here as well but there is a thing we also need to save the contact details right you can see there are a lot of contacts how we can see the contact details to show the contact details right we have to use something that is called as a child flex card right so let's do one thing let's create a child flex card let's go to this omni studio flex card and let's click on new right and let's do that display contact details title and the author name the important thing we should note here is we have to make it is child card right and then let's go to next and the next thing since we are making a child flex card we don't need to give a data source type let's click on save right so this is all here but the thing is how do we get the contact details to do that we can uh, paste a uh, demo json data to create the fields then we will make it dynamic from the parent flex card so let's do that let's come to this setup click on save and fetch you can see we are getting all these details so let me copy this contact details right i'll copy this i'll click on ok then i'll go to the child flex card and in the setup you can see the data source there are a whole lot of options but let me choose custom for this time and in the custom json i can paste my dummy json that i have copied over here and if i click on save and fetch you can see i am getting all these details over here right so let's suppose i want to display the contacts block by block so i what i'll do here i will go to display i'll drag a block right the block level that i can give is the contact name right and inside the block i can bring multiple fields right so let's bring host name make it half then let's bring last name again make it half this is more than half let's right and after that let's drag and drop the email field here it is and again let's maybe we need the phone here as well yeah right 
and in the set of if i click on save and fetch i am able to see all this data right so basically since we are able to get this data now we can remove our custom json and make this to none right and the second thing we have to in order to use this flex card we have to first activate this activating the flex card uh, takes some times and we'll wait till that time and we'll come back again all right since it has been activated let's go to our parent flex card and let's refresh this page one second all right the page has been refreshed now bring this let's bring this child flex card over here so i'll type flex card it says new child flex card let me bring the child flex card over here and in this flex card let's give the name we see with the flex card name over here was display contact details right displays con details so let's choose this one it's still not coming right so we have to give the name of the node that we are trying to pass to this child flex card right so the node should be record dot contact detail it is coming automatically so we don't have to worry about it and as soon as i give it so you can see it populates the first name last name details here as well right so one more thing we can do and to preview it let's click on preview You can see it is coming first name, last name, email, phone. But there is an issue. The contact name is not coming. Right? Let's figure out why it is not coming. So basically, if I come to let me deactivate this flex card first. Again, deactivate also takes some time. it's done all right so actually we have not configured our block properly so the email let's bring the email to inside of this block and same for the phone as well right and the contact name that i was getting not sure but it should uh let me go to setup let me go to data source and make it custom json and paste the custom json over here and click on save and fetch the contact name should be populated let me try to i can do that it should be contact name over here right and let's make it collapsible by default right i will make sure there are no trailing or leading spaces right so that's done what i'll do i will again change the data source to non right and i'll click on save and i'll activate this all right this has been activated again let's come to design and let's try to fetch the data again click on okay i am still not able to see the contact details uh, sorry the contact name let's click on preview and see here if you see we are able to to see all the contact details and this contact details has been collapsible by default and if i expand any of these i see the first name last name email and phone 
same for all the other contacts here as well right so this is all about how you can use your integration procedure as a data source for a flex card and how you can use the child flex app inside the parent flex card so that's it for this video i hope you like the video and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching